Okay, so I wanted to show off my pocket ethernet um, wire map terminators. Um, I've made a whole bunch. Uh, you can see that seven of them fit in the case here, and here's an eighth one. Um, so it's basically just um, a jack with a double-ended uh, cable in it. So if you're testing, you know, into a faceplate, uh, I'll just pretend that this is a faceplate on a wall. You can just plug these things in and get them out pretty quick, uh, and it's easy. Um, or if you want to test with a patch cable, then you know you can do that and put that into your switch. Uh, either way. Um, so let's go ahead and just verify that they do work. I mean, you could do something like this, which is pretty much extra stupid, right? But um, then we'll say do wire map and not all these other things. Um, and so you can see it's four pair straight. Um, now to test my wire maps, I made a series of connectors that are wrong. This one's normal. Uh, this one's a crossover, so we'll do this crossover and test. And it says four pair mixed crossover. It basically says pairs two and three, which are the orange and the green, are miswire. Now, unfortunately, the app does not show that. Uh, crossover. Instead what it does is you'll notice orange pairs 1 and 2 over here and 3 and 6 over here. So while it looks straight through visually you have to realize that pins 1 and 2 are here and 3 and 6 are here so that orange is crossed over and then the opposite is true on the green pair. 3 and 6 are here and 1 and 2 are here. So it is a crossover cable uh, even though at first glance you might not realize that. So here's one that says open Pair 2 orange is open, so let's see what that looks like. Uh, sure enough, pair 2 orange miswire, and you can see that break there, and all the rest of them are fine. Um, this one, it says reversed 4 and 5 and 7 and 8. So this has got two mistakes in it, evidently. Measure. Um, and interesting, it says miswire. But it says all of them are okay, including the orange. Um, well, four and five would be the blue. Seven and eight would be the brown. Aha! Uh -huh. So status says okay, but if you look carefully at the numbers at the end of the wires, which again is harder to notice, seven ends up at eight here, and eight ends up at seven here. So it knows that those are crossed. Uh, it would be nice if there was a visual like indication where the, the dashed line went down and over to the solid line and then vice versa. You could see that quicker. OK is also misleading because it's not OK. The brown pair is flipped at one end. Um, and the other pair, seven, or 7 and 8 is brown. 4 and 5 is the blue. OK, so 4 there, 5 there, 5 there, 4 there. So it's correctly showing it. Again, the OK is misleading. So that's something that just um, would be nice if it was fixed in the app. This one says reverse all. So apparently this one is a major mess up. Um, yep, yeah, one, two, two, one, three, six, four, five, five, four, six, three, seven, eight. Yeah, okay, yep, yeah, they're all reversed. Now miss, it says miswire at the top, which is great, but status says okay on all of these. That's less than ideal. So this one says reverse 4 and 5. Let's try that. Uh, miswire, great. Still says all OK. Uh, 4 and 5, are, yep, 4 goes to 5, 5 goes to 4. So again, it's catching it, but it doesn't look great. This one, that's sort of like the other one. This one reverse 3 and 6, 7 and 8. Reverse 3 and 6, 7 and 8. 3 to 6, 6 to 3, 7 to 8, 8 to 7. Yep, yeah, okay. So, yep, yeah, that's all messed up. Um, here we'll just test a normal patch cord again to prove that this thing does work the right way. Four pair straight, all okay. 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7, 8, 8. Right, and shield is always broken because uh, I'm not making these things with shielded connectors uh, with the shield. So. 
there you go. A bunch of them fit in there. Uh, it's filled with hot glue, so those resistors that are in there cannot possibly move around or short out. Um, and there you go. And it, yes, it includes the little very short patch cable. Um, obviously, to maintain that it's a Cat5, one has to be the opposite direction of the other one because it's so short. Um, so there you go. Um, here's my original one, which the only reason it's red and it's redone is because I took this one apart to get the pin out for the rest of these. If you want to make these yourself, you can. Um, the um, pin out with all the resistors is on my website, jpelectron.com. Uh, under the electronics section. Um, I will also begin selling these um, in pairs of two, so you'll get two uh, together on my website uh, near the end of October. Uh, that's October 2017. So if you um, do not want to build your own or do not have the capabilities to do so, uh, you can buy them from me. Uh, any questions? Let me know. Thanks.